Hi friends, my name is Kathleen and welcome to my channel. Um, today I am recording a story time of sorts about how I once was a teen mom and now I am pregnant with baby number three and my kids that I was once a teen mom with are now teenagers. So I decided to kind of record my journey online and share it because I mean, I guess that's kind of what you do these days. Um, but also I feel like our story is a little bit unique. You don't often see um, moms having kids so far apart, I guess. So my kids are going to be 12 and 16 when this baby is born, um, making my youngest and baby number three 12 years apart, which is absolutely crazy to me in my head. And um, I'm so happy and I'm so grateful and I'm so excited to share this journey because I feel that, again, it is a unique situation, um, but also, you know, kind of interesting and how do you navigate that? And, you know, people who say that newborn and toddler stages are the hardest I would say definitely don't have teenagers yet. Those kids will give you a run for your money. I will tell you that. So really looking forward to having a teenager and a newborn, not. Um, <clears throat> but I thought I would just come and introduce myself. I have been doing mostly shorts, so I guess this is like my first full video and I thought I would do a little bit of a background and a story time of kind of how we came to be in our situation. So <clears throat> again, my name is Kathleen. I live in Ontario, Canada, and I'm currently filming in our baby's nursery because it just has the best lighting in the house, which is kind of amazing. Um, so if <laughs> I continue to make videos, this is probably where I'll be. Um, but let's just jump right into it, shall we? So rewind 16 years ago, I guess, when I was 16, making me 33. Now, I can't even believe it. I remember watching shows and stuff when I was a kid about, you know, people like Friends, for example, like Phoebe, Chandler, Ross, Rachel, all that. They were in their 20s and like watching that now in retrospect, I thought, oh my gosh, they're so grown up. They have all their stuff together. You know what I mean? Like, and now I'm like, I'm older than them. Did you know if you are in your thirties, you're also older than the characters in Seinfeld when Seinfeld was shot, which is crazy. Nonetheless, um, I am 33. So going back 16 years now, um, <clears throat> I was, something else I was. So thank goodness the Lord is blessing me as a boy mom and not with girls because I don't know what I would do if I had myself to look after or to raise because I was, I was something. I will tell you that. Anyways, so when I was 16, I met a man who was considerably older than me. I believe at the time he was 25 and I was 16. So I know red flag number one, but you know, hindsight is 2020, right? Um, so, you know, I, I'm not going to get into all of the details of that. I will try and make this video brief. Um, if you have any questions or you want me to elaborate on stuff, um, please leave it in the comment section down below. And I'm happy to do more of like a full story time on that situation specifically. Um, but we'll leave that for another day. So uh, we were dating and he was kind of in and out of jail and my parents obviously hated the situation, um, can't blame them obviously, and I ended up falling pregnant at 16. And of course in your 16 naive mind, you know, um, things are going to work out, you're going to live happily ever after. Um, he's going to change. This is all going to, you know, all of these things are, are going to work themselves out and we're going to live this amazing, happy life. Um, 
that didn't happen. So spoiler alert, um, I ended up having my son when I was 17. That relationship in itself, if you can imagine, again, just 16 and 25, I'm sure you can imagine the type of person that is that age and dating a young girl. Um, but anyways, so that relationship was, was really horrible and it was definitely a very, oh my gosh, probably one of the most difficult parts of my life to, that I have gone through to date. Um, it was very tumultuous, very abusive, very horrible. Um, I'm very glad that I did go through it because obviously it gave me my son and I think that it gave me a very different perspective on my life moving forward, my relationships moving forward, who I was as a person moving forward. So definitely don't necessarily regret it. Is there things that I would have done differently? Absolutely 100%. Um, but needless to say, it was a very trying time in my life. So obviously that didn't end well. <laughs> um, and when my son, who uh, is my oldest, when my son was around two, um, I met my now husband, who him and I have been together 14 years. I can't even believe that it's been that long. Um, but nonetheless, like I said, I was 17 when I had him. So I was I was 19 when I met my now husband. So again, still just a baby. Um, and that relationship escalated very quickly. Um, things went along very fast and dun dun dun, I ended up falling pregnant a few months after dating. So obviously, you know, we, we moved in together, we had our baby, things were, crazy hard. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I'm not even going to pretend like that was the happily ever after part of the story because it certainly was not. Um, when having a baby or having children is hard at any age. So don't let anybody ever fool you into thinking that you're ever fully really ready to have a baby because it's trying on you, it's trying on your relationship, it's trying on your body, it's trying on your mental health. Like it is hard AF having a baby. But having babies when you're not financially stable, you your relationship isn't super stable, um, and obviously being very young and not really knowing yourself all that well and getting to know your partner and getting to know yourself, you know, during a time where I feel most people do kind of grow into these things. This is, you know, in your late teens, early 20s, sometimes further into your 20s, you're, this is the time that you're really starting to discover who you are. Um, so again, needless to say, things were very hard for us financially and with our relationship. Um, our relationship is solid, don't get me wrong, but again, just, you know, learning about each other um, and throwing this baby and babies now, you know, with, with a toddler also in the mix, um, it was just, it was, it was hard, you know, it was, it was what it was, but we made it and we worked very, 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 very hard, um, to get ourselves stable, get our financial situation stable, um, get our, you know, relationship and who we are individually and in our relationship stable. Um, we worked very, very, very hard at that. There was certainly a lot of ups and downs alongside raising kids that I wouldn't take back for the world, <laughs> but definitely moments where it honestly would have been easy just to walk away and say, I can't do this anymore, you know? Um, but we fought and we fought and we fought and we fought for what we have today which is something I, oh, I'm like, I was gonna say six months. That's not true. I'm like eight months pregnant and I'm super emotional. I'm just an emotional mess on a good day, like outside of pregnancy, but especially being pregnant, I'm super emotional. So <laughs> fast forward all of these years later and um, we are very truly blessed and grateful to have the relationship that we have, to have the life that we've built together. Um, 
we have a very, very, very strong, solid relationship, which again, I'm proud to say that we worked very hard for. Um, it wasn't something that, you know, that you hear on TV, oh, they met and fell in love and they lived happily ever after. That wasn't necessarily the situation. We did work very, 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 very hard to get to know one another, understand one another, um, and make our relationship what it is today. So that's a little bit of the backstory. Um, and now, so how did we end up having another baby 12 years later? <laughs> so obviously, um, like I said, I was 19 when I met my husband, um, 17 when I had my other son. So we were very, very, very young. And at the time that we were having kids, um, you know, needless to say, it wasn't necessarily planned. We weren't starting our family or anything like that. Um, it, it was situations, obviously not overly surprising because we all know how babies are made, um, but certainly nothing that we had planned for at that time. And like I said, our, our focuses at that time were very different in terms of just trying to gain stability and that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so at the time that we were, that we had children, family planning wasn't necessarily our goal, right? Um, and stability takes time. And that was primarily our focus for many, 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 many years. And I would say maybe about five years ago, um, when our youngest son was maybe five or six, we started thinking about having another baby and is this something that we want? Like we, you know, have, we've owned our home now, we are more financially stable, we both have careers, things are so much different now, right? So we started talking about if we really wanted another baby. Um, and then it was one of those situations where I felt really ready to have another baby and my husband didn't. And then vice versa, he felt really ready to have a baby and I didn't. And we kind of went back and forth in that, in that for, for quite some time. And um, I would say maybe a couple of years ago. So this went on for a good, I would say two or three years, not actively trying to have a baby, but just wondering if that's what we wanted, right? And then I would say a couple of years ago, we kind of made the decision that our kids are too old now. It seems too weird, even though we are still young enough because we had our kids very young, um, you know, and, and obviously this is no, this is just my personal experience and my personal feelings and my personal opinions. This has nothing to do with anybody else's family dynamic or anything like that. Like, I just want to preface what I'm going to say, but we felt, um, you know, that we were also getting our, our, we were all we were at an age too where we didn't necessarily feel pressured that oh if we're gonna have another baby we need to do it right this second you know because age can be a factor in fertility so because we were so young still you know we, we didn't necessarily have that pressure so it was kind of like nah, 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 nah. and then a couple of years ago um our kids had grown up quite a bit you know they're pretty they're not grown up but they're self-sufficient um you know we're not paying for daycare anymore they're both in school um they're both you know predominantly independent with a lot of things um and my husband and i were you know kind of able to just not do our own thing but you know if you have older children i'm sure you understand um and we were kind of just enjoying that and we you know we decided that our kids were quite a bit older it, it wasn't i don't know we, we both just were kind of like, no, you know, I think this is it. We're not going to have any more babies. Boy, were we wrong. So <laughs> last year, um, I, I had um, an IUD and um, I got something called pelvic inflammatory disease. If you don't know what that is, um, it's essentially when your pelvis gets an infection and all of your lady bits in there um, have an infection and become inflamed and irritated and that kind of thing. So I had this because of my IUD, which is one of those things that, oh, it happens to like 1% of people, like I was that 1%. 
Um, so I had my IUD removed and we were relying on other forms of birth control, even though at that point I had been told that because of the situation down there, um, it wasn't very likely that I was going to be able to have more children, which again was not heartbreaking news because we had kind of already decided that that was the plan anyway. So if anything, it was almost kind of like a relief. Um, just one less thing to worry about, I guess. Um, so last year in May, I ended up falling pregnant. And when that happened, it was, it was not planned. Um, obviously, like I said, we, we weren't anticipating being able to have more children or wanting more children. Um, and when that happened, we were like, oh my gosh, you know, and there was a lot of conversations surrounding like what our lives were going to look like and what, you know, what decisions we were going to make and, and these kinds of things. Um, and during that time, very quickly, um, I, I'm not going to get in again to the very gory details, but I ended up having an ectopic pregnancy, unfortunately, um, which was very difficult on both myself and my husband, um, kind of putting ourselves in that mindset that we were going to have another baby and then that happening. Um, it was hard, right? Like, I, again, like I'm sure many of you can relate to being in a situation like that and how difficult and emotional that can be. Um, and then going through that, once that happened, um, we, and, and kind of coming to terms with the fact that we were going to have another baby before it played out the way that it did. Um, we were like, you know, after going through that, we were like, maybe we do, this is something that we want. Um, and if this is something that we want, you know, now kind of age is becoming a factor. This is something that we need to get on top of right away. So, um, unfortunately, like I said, with the history of the pelvic inflammatory disease and now with the ectopic pregnancy, um, our doctors were concerned that it may not happen for us. We may not be able to conceive again. And if we did, um, it would be very difficult to be able to do so. So we started trying right away and needless to say, um, it was not overly difficult. And again, this is just our personal experience. I'm not, um, making light of fertility issues or anything like that, because I understand the difficulty that people do have conceiving. Um, so I, I'm just sharing my experience. I'm not comparing in any way our journey to somebody else's. I want to make that very clear. Um, but so because of all of these factors, I actually didn't find out that I was pregnant until I was 11 weeks. I was almost through my whole first trimester. Um, so I didn't find out that I was pregnant until 11 weeks. And then, you know, obviously we were very shocked and overjoyed and, so ready to do this. It's been a long time coming. Um, breaking the news to the kids was definitely very interesting. Um, I, a lot of people ask me, you know, what do your kids think and how do they feel? Um, and honestly, I, I have boys, older boys. So I want to say that in a way they're a little bit indifferent. Um, they, they weren't upset or anything like that. They were just, they were kind of surprised and shocked and rightfully so. Um, so yeah, that was definitely an interesting conversation. Now that we're getting closer in the nurseries here and they're seeing all the baby things and everything, I, I think that they're definitely getting more excited. Um, and I'm certainly very excited to see their relationship involve or evolve, sorry. It's again, I kind of think it's a unique situation having our kids so far apart so I, I think it'll be really something special to see their relationship and their bond happen um and I will I hope to share that um I hope to be able to continue this I don't know if anyone is actually interested in hearing these stories or seeing this happen or anything like that I hope that you are, um, because I definitely do like sharing it. It's, you know, I like sharing my little bubble. It's nice. Um, 
And if you are in a similar situation or if you've had similar things like this to happen, I'd love for you to share your story in the comments. Um, if you haven't already, it, you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope to be sharing a lot more um, pregnancy updates, maybe a nursery tour, newborn stuff, life with teenagers and a newborn, how crazy that is going to be how we're managing these kinds of things, you know. Um, but also, um, if you've seen any of my shorts, I also do a lot of like cooking and mom stuff too, if you're interested in that, or if you wanna hang out, if you're bored like me, and you turn to YouTube <laughs> for some friends, then I'm happy to be your friend. I'm happy to be your mom friend. I'm happy to share this journey with you. Um, so yeah, if you would like to follow this journey, please do subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram, which will be linked down below. And I hope to share a lot more with you very soon.